Before watching this video, make sure that you have completed all of the tasks from video 1. If you did, you should have a document called References. The document should have 5 to 7 citations on it. All citations should be in APA format with a hanging indent. The References document should be in a folder. You should have downloaded all of the articles on your reference list and they should also be in the folder. Remember that when you are asked to write an academic paper, this typically means that your instructor wants you to write a paper that cites articles, chapters, and web pages you have read. In this video, I am going to show you how to write an annotated bibliography using the articles you downloaded and the reference page you already created. I'm going to stick with my topic of making connections between mountain unicycles and psychology. I begin by opening the references page I created. I then open the first article on the list. I read the article. As I read, I look for main ideas, details that I think might be useful, and direct quotes that really stand out to me. I highlight the main ideas, details, and direct quotes that I think are most important or might be most useful to me when I write my paper. After I've highlighted the main ideas, details, and direct quotes, I return to the references page that I created, the page that lists all of the references I want to use. Under the citation for the article I just read, I create a bulleted list of main ideas, details, and direct quotes from the article. I use my own words to express the main ideas and details. I write one main idea or one detail next to each bullet note. For the direct quotes, I write the quote in quotation marks. Then right next to it, I write the page number on which I found the quote. I put the page number in parentheses because later, when I write my paper, having the page number in parentheses will save me a great deal of time. I repeat this process for each of the articles I read. I read the article, highlighting main ideas, details, and quotes as I read. Then, I write the main ideas, details, and direct quotes in bullet note form on my references page. When I am finished, I have a simple annotated bibliography. An annotated bibliography is a bibliography that has notes under each reference. The bullet note annotated bibliography I have shown you is not a true annotated bibliography. A true annotated bibliography contains a paragraph summary of the article rather than bullet notes. However, I prefer bullet notes rather than paragraphs when writing papers because bullet notes are easier to read, they will help me organize my paper, and they will save time when I start writing my paper. In this short video, you have learned how to write an annotated bibliography using your articles, your references page, and bullet notes. Now it's your turn. Open your references page read the first article listed. Highlight the main ideas, details, and direct quotes you think might be useful. Use your own words to rewrite the main ideas and details as bullet notes under the reference for the article you read. Write direct quotes as bullet notes, but put the page number on which you found the direct quote in parentheses after the quote. Repeat this process for each article you read. When you are finished, your reference page will contain bullet notes for each reference, and you will finally be ready to organize your bullet notes and start writing, which you will learn more about in the third video in this series, Planning Your APA Format Academic Paper.